Libra, welcome to your past life reading for singles. Okay. And uh, this is um, retrograde special. Okay. So let's take a look. What are the lessons from the past that you need to heed, to learn, to see, to be aware of? Why is it that there are some things in your life that keeps on reoccurring and happening over and over again? Or if you feel stuck in a particular, you know, ex relationship or connection and who is your soulmate and when will you be meeting them let's take a look oh another another native Am american you need to learn how to forgive you've been carrying grudges too much okay so there is a particular situation in your life that you can't seem to get out of phobias male and female oh you're bisexual knighthood persecution and inquisition celtic now please take note that this is only a general reading okay let's just pull out your three more clarification cards okay nothing about your love life Okay, let's take a look. All right. Oh, true love, new love. Unrequited love. That is uh, first. Make the effort. Romantic feelings. Okay, now crystals. Leadership, author, healer, speaker. Environmentalist, sensitivity, nutrition, energy healing, children. Okay, some Libras are actually having a hard time, uh, you know, giving birth, or no, sorry, not giving birth, but conceiving. Um, okay. Okay, Libra, you're once a Native American and you've been carrying grudges, okay? So it's like in your previous life you were like an angry person and you were one of the advanced uh, um hmm. you're one of the advanced people okay in the past because uh, you came from atlantis as well so this is the second life but you were imprisoned or you were enslaved over something that you have committed and you're a very old soul of course when you were when you're an atlantean you're very old you're a very old soul. You're one of the first. And right after that, you've gone through a communal living. Okay. And you've lived in so much fear because of the things that you've gone through. And you've lived as a male and female. Or it could be that right now in your present life, you're bisexual. And you also served as a knight. Okay. Either in a palace or in a, you know, in some legal form in persecution and in inquisition. So... Okay, in overall, okay, the reason why you were always angry and you have some trust issues is because you were betrayed by some people that you have trusted with. Some people who, is all, who, who share the same vision, same mind, same dreams, same ambition that you thought that you were one, okay? There are actually four people in your life, before, in your past life, that you have entrusted so much of your secrets, so much of your... Um, you know dreams and revelations and fortunately you did not even thought that these people are the one who will be letting you down and will even lead you okay to imprisonment or to being an being a slave now you are caught up in some pattern uh situation 
Okay, whether it's a romantic relationship or like a family relationship or could be just any other relationship. But there is a pattern thing or situation in your life that just keeps on recurring. And you also have very recurring dreams, okay, ever since you were a child. So try remembering that because it has something to do with what really happened in your past life. Now, you don't know how to trust other people because you're too paranoid. And sometimes you're already suffering from being too paranoid, okay? Because you were unable to let other people get close to you, you were so you were unable to get, you know, other people or real friends with you. It's like you want to reach out to some other people, to new people, new friends, new uh, acquaintance. But it's like it's so hard for you to really let your guard down because you're so afraid. What if they're going to betray me? What if they're only going to use me? What if they're only out there because they only want something from me? But it's not okay. That it, it, it's not because you know. This kind of mentality or, you know, this kind of fear, it comes from your past life. And right now, you need to be a little bit more awakened that it's never going to happen again. And it's only a matter of trusting and being a good judge of a character, okay? Now, you have gone through such a dire kind of living, okay? You've struggled so hard. And uh, right after getting out of that imprisonment or getting out of that, um, of that cell, okay, you were so afraid. You've lived in so much fear because you have phobias. And you were once served as a knight. So the phobia, along with the shield that you always wear, you know, in front of your body, it's like a double protection, but too much to the point that you're already isolating yourself. And not to mention that you were also accused of something that you did not even commit because of the people who led you into trouble. So this is the reason why you are having a lot of you know, a lot of hard times to the extent that sometimes you feel like you're already go going crazy or some other people calls you crazy, okay? But you just need to let your guard down, leave it all up, sorry, leave it all up to the universe and to faith and whoever will be doing you wrong, they will have their own karma, okay? But you have to enjoy life. You have to learn how to let your guard down because you are just leading to isolation and no man is an island, Okay? And you've had a very frail health, okay? There was also once in your life that you've served as an authority figure. Could be that you're a policeman or you're, you know, like a king or like a ruler. Or you're, you're in the position of an authority or politician or something like that. That's why you possess that, that wisdom, okay? And you have that kind of knowledge, that other people would want to have and share but it's like every time someone wants to get sorry someone wants to get close to you you always feel like they only want something from you and that is why you also lose that self-confidence okay now what happened to your love life you only have one true love and this is your you know this is somebody new you've lived in another place but i feel like because of your trust issues in your past you know in your previous lives you marry this person but then you keep on doubting and doubting and doubting okay it's like you're the one who already attracted the negativities in your relationship that even though this person is not really committing all the things that you're suspecting them or even doubting them or accusing them of it is what's been ma manifesting Okay, you need to learn how to love yourself first and try to make the effort into how to heal yourself, how to heal your relationship and how you go on with the difficulties of being in a committed relationship. Okay, because you need to love yourself first before you can love someone else. Because this person, you know, I feel like you only have one true love and one, well, not really one soulmate. I feel like you have several soulmates, but there's only one love that will be coming your way. And you have suffered from an unrequited love. Okay? And this is the thing. So, if like now, or, no, sorry. If right now, currently, you are, you know, all of your exes or your previous relationships, it's only you who love them. And you, f you always feel like, oh, okay, I gave them the world. I gave them all my money. I gave them all my time, my attention, and everything else. And then they just, you know, they just keep on taking and taking and taking. Okay? So, it is because that you have suffered from an unrequited love. All right. So the answer to this is you need to love yourself first. Okay. Now, what are you supposed to become right now? You're on the right path. Get in touch more with your earth side, which is you need to collect some more crystals, leadership, 
It is much better for you to be self-employed. You author, well, you're also destined to write a book, and you're a healer. Um, you can also be a part of a paramedics or medical volunteers or be in the you know medical field like nurse, uh, physical therapist, therapist, doctor, or something like that. And you have the gift of oration, so your counseling is also one. And you love the uh, you love the uh, environment, so you can also be a part of the environmental group. And you're very sensitive about the things that you that needs to be changed and that needs to take place in yourself or in your life. And you're very conscious about nutrition, so you may also help and aware some other people who's very diet conscious or you know some of the helpful tips into cooking um, some food or delicacies that will not clash with their um, pertaining illness and energy healing. You also need to go for some energy healing and tune up your energy. And children, you, I feel like you've been having some problems dealing with your own children or you love um, being around more children right now, okay? Like being in a nursery or being in a preparatory school or something like that. But um, I feel like there are I feel like more likely that you have some issues about your own children. And you just need to heal this. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, not to mention that in your. In one of your past lives. You've had a very fra fragile health. Hmm. Okay. So. Anyway. That's it for you for this month and for this retrograde um, Libra and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the culture just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you